I just came back from a walk. It's, I don't know, about 8.15. I'm at the Butterfly Center in South Texas. Sitting here, Mariposa Village. Oh. Lots of thoughts, a lot of thinking, a lot of understanding trying to do. Just a couple minutes ago, there was a, uh, a helicopter flying at about treetop level. It happens every night at this time. The helicopter is going to be back in a little while. Helicopter just flew over us. Low. These helicopters fly low. That's the way it is. There's this border wall going up and this whole hysteria about uh, not wanting um, political asylum seekers in our country. There's something happening in the world right now, you know, we really can't understand it. Why can't we understand it? What's filtering the truth? Why can't our hearts and minds understand what our eyes are seeing? What our ears are hearing? It's all part of it, but it struck me. I walked down here to the Butterfly Center a little while ago, and I walked through the paths, and I, and I read the little play cards that told me about this butterfly or that butterfly, and I was in the woods. I walked out of the woods, and I saw this helicopter turn towards me, and it flew towards me. I knew nothing was going to happen. As I, as I left the tree line, I was in the middle of the field, and I knew nothing was going to bother me. Nobody was, because I am privileged. I have a color of skin that doesn't send off negative messages and it's sad and I'm sad about that right now and yet there's some hope too and the hope is in you and I and my friends of color that we are working together for a different world for a change and we are not going to allow the racist attitude of this United States government to overbear us, to overwhelm us. We are moving forward, slowly, steadily forward. There's no reason to have the sadness in our world. But there's a positive. Our spirit is still alive. The story is continuing. Creation is happening right now. And the stories tell us that we will survive. We will survive.